Welcome everyone. I am joined by our CEO, Chris Bolton, who is in our center of excellence located in Panama right now. Looks like there's a lot of activity going on behind you, Chris. Well, always. Uh, and most people don't get to see this. Uh, they've always uh, watched me sit and talk to you in my office. And mm -hmm. uh, so I thought it was good time, high time uh, for them to come and see all the activity that we would normally see in the warehouse here. Absolutely. And I know that we've also been expanding our employee workforce quite drastically as well. So very cool to see. Yeah, well, to my right, our office is two level. Uh, the seats are full and the warehouse, uh, as we've uh, discussed, is starting to ramp up very quickly now uh, for the purpose of assembly, uh, assembly of our first 140 units uh, this year. And then, of course, getting ahead of the inventory for the next 160 uh, that we plan to deliver in Q1 of next year. Uh, now, uh, we do have a, our own separate video on this, so I don't want to go into too deep, but uh, we are going to show how we use Six Sigma and Kaizen and Lean Manufacturing and 5S as a methodology to make sure that, that obviously we're state of the art, but more importantly, we're the highest level of quality uh, for a product of this technology in the globe. Absolutely. Now, we are under halt right now, so I know that we wanted to address our investors and talk to them about what is going on. Right. I, it's unfortunate. Uh, we have, of course, put in a press release that mandatorily has to be uh, revised or reviewed and approved by the regulatory authority. And as they've been very kind to uh, explain to us, uh, it's put in on a priority basis and they are prioritizing it. Now, it uh, is currently in their hands. Uh, we've expected it to come out uh, very quickly. Uh, so obviously, we would be able to continue trading. Absolutely. And that is the primary goal is to get us trading again. Let's talk a little bit about operations, though, because I know a lot of concerns that have come is what is going on? You know, what's happening behind the scenes? Is everything OK? Well, it's business as usual for us. Uh, and this, uh, of course, release that we need to get out has nothing to do with our Q3 that did get out yesterday quite successfully. Uh, and the Q, uh, Q3 report, unfortunately, is not getting the attention it deserves. Our Q3 report definitively showed that we've successfully made the transition uh, from what was uh, a newly minted publicly trading company relying on funding to a company that's surviving, obviously, very well on non-refundable deposits, uh, as we've reported publicly in our statements. Uh, so the good news is, is that that report does show the transition uh, from our receiving our first 50% uh, deposit on our first order. And then of course, positioning the company to how it will move forward based on that transition. Mm -hmm. And some of our clients have also been putting out great press releases of their own. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, those that know JT Medical uh, put out its own release as well. Uh, that release is to talk about it's getting MOUs uh, geared up to really ramp up uh, the facility that uh, they will be putting into full use. Uh, that facility was visited by DEA this week uh, for the purpose of, again, reviewing uh, how our technology will be used, uh, including Sprout AI. And of course, uh, what will we be able to do for ramp up in near future? Uh, the DEA, of course, uh, have taken a very strong position recently uh, to be able to provide domestic supply uh, for research and development, and in a way uh, that obviously will meet the needs of research facilities globally. Absolutely. So not just good things happening with our clients, but ourselves as well. So let's talk a little bit about the marketing campaign that we are going to be rolling out. We well, haven't you, really... Yeah, yeah we ahead. haven't really had a chance to talk about it. Sorry, Colleen, go ahead. No, that's okay. We're really excited because we are currently working with an international group to roll out a marketing campaign that is all centric around our investors. Our primary goal is to connect with you guys, to show you behind the scenes of what is happening at Sprout. We're excited every single day because we get to see everything, all of the progress that's being made, and we want to share that with you as well. So over the next little while, you're going to see interviews from our key employees. We're going to be highlighting each and every one of them over the next little while, talking to them about their job and why they like working with Sprout as well, and what they really bring to the company. In addition to that, we're also going to be focusing on educating, helping our investors truly understand the vertical farm tech industry and what is to come paired with the Sprout technology and how we really are disruptive and going to change the path of the future. So we're very excited about that. Well, very much so. And we do have a lot coming down the pipe. And, and spoiler alert, uh, we, we do have 
um, a third party uh, report that will be reviewing our technology uh, that will be out soon. Uh, we do have podcasts uh, that are being uh, produced as well uh, with third party to learn a little bit more about our approach uh, to the international market and why we consider ourselves uh, truly disruptive. Uh, so that will help. And more importantly, uh, working hard uh, with our future customers in their marketing campaigns so that we can get their word out to you sooner. Uh, so for example, in our first uh, published report, we did talk about our client in Africa. That's what the 140 units are for, for example, this current order. Okay. Uh, and of course, uh, they will be releasing their own press uh, within a few weeks, uh, not just discussing uh, the scope of the project, uh, but where they plan to go from here and how that includes Sprout. So we'll let them do their work. Uh, and then through our social marketing engine, uh, be able to forward that information to our investors in a timely way uh, so you can see what we see uh, with three terms, uh, not just to the current, the near future, but the midterm uh, future uh, opportunities for this company. Exactly. So as always, we love to hear from our investors, good or bad. We always like to talk with you guys. So please do remember, if you have any questions at all, reach out to us directly, whether it be through email or by phone call, we answer to every single one of our investors. So please do feel free. Our contact information is always included at the bottom of every single press release, as well as on our website. Thank you, Colleen. Thank you, everyone. Talk to you again in a week. Okay, ciao, ciao.